Hi everyone, have you ever had Chicago's famous jardiniera? Well, we're gonna make that today in our kitchen. My name is Chris and I'm a diabetes nurse practitioner. I am passionate about everything that is plant-based and welcome to my kitchen. So we're filming tonight in the evening because I'm trying to make all the vegetables here that I need to make before I go on an extended trip for work. So what we have here, I'm gonna show you, are about 10 cups of vegetables. So let me just stir this around. I've chopped it up for us already. So we've got chopped up cauliflower here. We have bell peppers. We have jalapeno peppers. The red jalapeno is amazing right now. It's from my father-in-law's backyard. And there's also like white peppers right there that is from my mom's backyard. You also have celery that's really fresh. You have carrots in here so these are really nice fresh crunchy vegetables and i like this because it serves as a garnish for a lot of things even sandwiches and pizza so what we're going to do i also have about a cup of green olives here that is stuffed with pimientos i'm going to mix that in here as well now this provides the saltiness um, in this uh, mixture which i really really like so we're gonna mix that and make sure that it's all combined thoroughly. I love the colors too, because it's like all the colors of the rainbow. If you have purple cauliflower, feel free to use them. They are in season right now, as well as yellow cauliflower. But any kind of cauliflower, I love. And I love to roast them, I love to boil them, um, I love to put them in soups. So this time we're gonna eat them pickled. Okay, now we're gonna make our brine. So let me put this aside. This is our pitcher here. It's a glass pitcher. We're gonna put half a cup of salt. Now we have a lot of vegetables in there and salt is a preservative. So we're gonna put about half a cup of salt in here. And this is Himalayan salt that I'm using. Well, okay, a little shy of half a cup because I do not like a ton of salt in the first place. Okay. And then we're gonna do about a fourth of a cup of maple syrup. Now this is not traditional, but I do like a little bite of sweetness with the spiciness and the saltiness of the jardiniera. So I'm gonna put like a little bit of maple syrup there. Now maple syrup is also very good for us. It's very nutritious. And it also has its own like antimicrobial, which I really like. I have a really nice olive oil right here, and um, this happens to be um, Humble Olive Oils, and it's right here in San Diego in Carlsbad, and it smells wonderful. Now I thought, hey, I'm gonna make a special jardiniera tonight. I wanna use a beautiful olive oil. So we're gonna use about a cup of olive oil here. And we don't do this very often, so I'd like to use my fancier olive oils. We're gonna add that in here. Okay. Of course, we don't wanna waste all that olive oil in there. So we're gonna still use that. And then I also have from Trader Joe's this white Madeira vinegar. We're gonna put about a cup of this in there. Now we are making a lot. So don't worry about like the calories on this one you are using a little bit at a time and we need all of this to preserve it so you've got the oil as a preservative you've got vinegar and this is a very nice light white vinegar so if you ever happen to have a trader joe's near you um, this is one of my staple vinegars we go close this up and we're going to add it here and because we do have a lot of vegetables and this is not gonna be enough, I'm gonna add a little bit of water, which is literally about half a cup of water. There you go. And we have a lot of spices here. Let me introduce you to all of our spices. We have about a teaspoon of pepper flakes. That's what makes it hot. I do have about a tablespoon here of uh, dried onions because I'm not too keen on the fresh onions and what is different here from traditional is I also added a little bit of ginger so you got a tablespoon of ginger with two tablespoons here 
of garlic and we're gonna put that all in there so when it marinates into its own sauce it's just gonna the flavors are gonna seep out into the sauce I also have herbs de Provence here and I love this mixture of different types of herbs that go into the jardiniera so it's not just your typical oregano but oregano is in there with other spices what I also like to do is I want to up the the nutrition of it even further is I'm putting cumin so just a tablespoon of cumin and a tablespoon of fennel seeds and it goes in there so now we put all of our spices I'm gonna put black and white pepper there yeah, about a teaspoon of it and I just kind of try and gauge it very nice and then we're gonna mix it. So let me bring this closer to me. So you want this really well combined because I have a lot of vegetables here and I'm not even sure if it fits in one container. So I have two containers here. We're gonna try and see if it fits in one. If not, we'll split it into two containers. You wanna whisk this really well because you want that salt to disintegrate into your sauce and this is not meant to stay on the counter and so what I'm doing here is that once we make this it goes into a refrigerator and it can last for quite a while a few weeks in your refrigerator okay so we've mixed this all thoroughly let me see about putting that here so come over here we're probably gonna split this into two here we go So that's half of it. The other half will go here. Hoping I can actually see what I'm doing here. All this goodness goes into here. There. Let's stir that again because the oil here and the vinegar could separate. And we want to make sure that it's all combined when we pour it into it. So what I'm going to try and do is I'm going to put a cup at a time. There we go. So this uh, mixture here is about two cups. So let's see how much we can put in here. Okay, that's about a cup. And let me grab this here. Oh. Very nice. I have a feeling we can mix them all in one container, but we're gonna have to do this in layers. Okay. Oh my goodness, this is wonderful. Okay, let's do the same thing to the other one here. So I have this here, we're gonna pour the whole thing here. And yes, I think we can put this all in one container, which will help uh, save me space in the refrigerator. Very nice. Okay, let's pour the rest of the mixture in here. So we still have enough to really coat the vegetables. And of course, the longer it marinates in this uh, sauce, the better it actually becomes. Okay, there. You see that? I love all the herbs that's in here. Okay, and then we're gonna put all of these all in one. This is really easy to make, and you don't even need a stove top or an oven. <laughs> and you have like this really amazing vegetables that you can use for a lot of different things. Okay, so here you go, folks. You wanna make sure you combine that very well, and then you, Put it in the refrigerator overnight. The next day, just make sure that you you mix it really well, and then eventually you could transfer this into jars. But for tonight, we are going to just leave it in the fridge. So let me just grab a cauliflower in here. Mm. That's really good. Well, thank you folks for joining me tonight. We have all these pickled vegetables now that we can use for a lot of our dishes this week. I hope to see you again in the next video. Goodbye.